Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. He says, I'm waking up, you chase. You might be uh, a bottom dweller, you might think. Oh, I don't know. You might have a trout, mate. They do like those twisties. Mate, this is a change for us. I'm normally fishing inshore with you in the little four metre boats. And finally, we've got a chance to fish offshore together. And mate, you and I haven't been offshore for a while because we've had such a bad run of weather for a period we don't really know what to expect. And you're a very smart man when it comes to searching out fish. And you said, no, let's go out and do some prospecting techniques. Bit of maybe a bit of trolling, maybe a bit of, at the moment we're jigging with little slugs, covering a lot of ground. And at the same time, we're testing out a very versatile boat, one of the Polycraft range, the 5.3 metre Cuddy Cabin. It's been nice and soft getting out here. Now my arms are starting to hurt, so look out. Oh, no, I tell ya, you, you've got a cranky, cranky fish on your hands there, Nige. Now, I really enjoy fishing with Nigel. I really like it when he's up against it. Right now, he's up against it. We've, uh, like you were saying, we've done a lot of fishing together. And we've had a lot of good times. I usually take more pleasure in his bad times. But... He does. It's, <laughs> I don't know why I keep coming out with you. Ah, oh, so much fun. <laughs> Here we go. Now we had a few had a few drifts over that patch of ground and we've obviously thrown a few things at them in terms of sizes of slugs and stuff. And Jace, I'll probably have to attribute some of this fish to Jace because he went, you know what, we're throwing 40 and 50 gram slugs at them and we haven't had a touch. And I you go down to a smaller one, which is often pretty rare for Jace to give me a tip in my favour. Normally when he's telling me something like that, I'm going, he's setting me up. But I think he might have helped me out. Thanks, mate. <laughs> you get this fish in the boat and I'll be happy. Now, we're not wrestling a monster with monster wrestling gear either. I mean, what are you fishing there, Nile? We've got a six to 10 kilo rod, one of the Berkeley range today, mate. I think it's one of your favorites. And loaded with 30 pound braid and 50 pound leader. But, you know, it's like we're, we're almost jigging. We, well, effectively, we are. We're mini jigging. We're, ripping slugs up and down off the bottom, but we're not using the standard real heavy gear, which comes with that heavy duty jigging when you're hitting kings and stuff like that. Benefit is, mate, we're a bit older these days. We don't, we get home and we don't have such sore shoulders and arms that when we're doing that heavy duty stuff. Right. Oh, Jace, you said, mate, there's a chance of some big tea leaves. And, and there he is. Mate. And there he is. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Now, yeah, mate, that's a good way to start the day. Oh, look at that. That's what all the huffing and puffing was about. Yeah, well, you certainly, uh, he gave you some curry, didn't he? Oh, he was, he, no big scream and run, so. I've it. caught a lot of these before, and they do, they oh, bound off at the start. So that was a little bit of a different fight. But anyway, that's, uh, that's fishing for you. They'll surprise you. But one thing's certain, mate, we might have a good little technique happening anyway. Just a bit of prospecting, because obviously the bait's moving around. These guys are moving with them. And uh, we're not using a stationary approach. No. We're in a quite sneaky boat, sneaking we're... around, catching these guys. Yeah. That's a nice fish. You got him there, no? I've got him, mate. Oh! Whew, like a bullet. See you later. He's gone down to join the rest of that crew, which we can see on the sander at the moment. Mate. Oh, mate, there's no one else out. No. We're sneaking around in a nice, quiet boat. Versatile technique. I've got dirty hands, which is a good sign. We smell like fish first thing in the morning. I reckon we go catch another one. Well, there's the damager. The number 30 gram Halco Twisty. Now, these ones have been one of my favourite lures. They're not just a, a metal slug. If you have a good close look at those, they've got curls on the ends. So when they when they drop, they flutter. So when you jig them up, they flutter down. They don't just plummet down like a like a normal slug. They're definitely there, Nige. Right. Should we had that double had look one. up we're looking for? I should have. <laughs> Got a bit of a bottom dweller on here, mate. There's a heap of bait down there. Got a bit of got a bit of weight about him. Mm -hmm. Oh, a bit of colour. Might be a lipper. Sweet lip. Oh, it is. it's a nice lipper. Sweet. Oh, thanks, that mate. <laughs> there you go, Nige. Cop, cop get, that. Get a bit of that, Nige. 
there. Oh, very nice. On that same 30 gram uh, twisty knife, it's uh, he had a couple of goes at that too. He's uh, just just hopping it, just getting it on the bottom and letting the line out, and hopping it up and letting the line out because we're drifting away from him. Yeah. I'm trying to just let that flood around in that same area and that, that attracts the fish to it until one's game enough to, to get a good have a crack. Well, he's well and truly scoffed it. Oh, he wasn't getting away. I guess, uh, you know, what, it's, the nice thing about the twisties is they're such a versatile lure. You know, the guys in Western Australia developed this and they have a whole heap of pelagics and reef species. So, so do we. Yes. What a coincidence. And it's, uh, it's a great lure of choice, you know. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them. Yeah. And you can fish them fast across the top or like we're doing, jigging them on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, it's not a $30 lure. No. And, uh, we're luckily because we've already we like done that. two so far. <laughs> so, so it's, uh, yeah, he's nice. uh, a nice little levy. We'll see if we can... Uh, Okay. Upgrading. All right. Approach Jason and I are using today is very simple because neither of us are rocket scientists or anything like that. We find a nice patch of ground and it's it's sort of extended patchy reef lying pretty low to the bottom and what we're doing is searching around trying to find patches of bait and signs of bigger arches on the sander and then once we found them, we're just initiating these big drifts across them and dropping these heavily weighted slugs to the bottom and then working them through. And the depth we're working that is all dictated by where we're seeing stuff on the sander. So if we know fish are hugging close to the bottom, all we're doing is working that slug that top three to five metres off the bottom. If there's fish are up mid-water, then we're going to extend the retrieve up to those levels. But at the moment fish are hugging the bottom and all we're doing, watching that braid, the moment it slackens off and the slug hits the bottom, a couple of jigs, and that's three to five metres. Hold it for a second to see if one hits it at the top of the stop and then drop it back to bottom. Work your water, recovering it. When you find those fish, it's a fair chance you're gonna be having some fun. Double hook out. <laughs> I think the, the Trevally are pretty thick here, mate. I think you could be right, Jase. Yes. Other species. Not commonly caught on slugs, Jase. Well, mate, there's an interesting double hook up for you. No. Trevally and mother in law fish. Oh, yeah, the old <laughs> Mowong. A lot of people wonder why they call them mother in law fish, mate. Some so, say because of their looks, others oh. because they're not the best eating fish in the ocean and that's who you give it to. <laughs> yeah, so each fish in the ocean uh, has its uh, good points and bad points, but they still pull pretty hard. I think, uh, I don't know how many species we've got so far, we have not changed our technique. It's still uh, the Halco Twisty jigged off the bottom. Uh, and just drifting, we haven't put an anchor down, we haven't stopped, no. it's just a very active style of fishing. That's, and that's that's only 23, 24 metres of water. We haven't gone any any haven't gone over 25 metres of water, so it's not that hard, is it? It's not no. like fishing 80 metres or anything. So. And we have uh, we have been eluded by some particularly big fish. Yes. Some sharks have eaten yours. We've had a few buzzers, yes. but anyway, the day's not done yet. We have got a feed, but I'd like to see something really big on the boat, so we might have to keep working, eh? Let's get these keep back working. in water. The 5.3 metre polycraft performs beautifully as an offshore hull, and there's a lot of reasons why. If we look at the hull, we've got a really nice deep V that then transitions into a 19 degree variable dead rise. It's complemented by some really chunky chines which run down the side of the boat. And those deep chines help you perform on, on the water in terms of your steering, getting up on the plane, staying on the plane, and then at rest, you've got wonderful stability to sit and fish in any offshore waters. They come standard on your trailer, galvanized, skids which are fitted perfectly for the boat, which means chuck her in the water dead easy, end of the day, drive straight on, off you go home after having a great day on the water.
There's a different one for you, mate. Oh, aren't they pretty? Nah. Very, very special fish. No keepers. They're a um, protected species because they do carry apparently quite a lot of cigaterra and I don't think I'm really going to play with that one, but aren't they a magic fish to catch? Look at the blue oh. stripes on that. That's just beautiful. Well, for a second I thought you caught a trout when I saw him come up. I just saw that glow of orange and thought, oh, hello. It's got all the nice nice blue lines on them. Makes it, yeah, they look a bit trout. But, uh, yeah, they're actually a legit, I think, aren't they? Specky, specky fish yeah. anyway, mate. Yeah. Beautiful fish. He's well and truly got that sucked your little in. jig in, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, mate, it's been a, it's been a great day out in the polygraph been good fun. I think I've got a couple of nice uh, juicy ones in there for dinner mate. And I think uh, which is about, about all, we, all we want. We've, uh, we've been done by a couple of nice ones and that's unfortunately is fishing but we've had a whole lot of fun with a variety of species and like you said such an easy technique. Anyone can do that. Drop it to the bottom, target the areas where you see fish on the sounder, drift around. We've got a, had a beautiful boat to do it in. We've given this a good test drive today, the 5.3. Highly recommend it. Beautiful. And it is looking like time we probably hit it back. It's got a bit of a drive, but I reckon, I don't know, it's got that feeling. Just try. I have to have one or two more drops. <laughs> we'll have a few more drops. You can keep talking to the camera, mate. I'm going to do this, all right? <laughs> I'd be happy to finish on that for the day. That's a great fish. It's uh, unfortunately not an edible one, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll rip that uh, twisty out of him, send him home, and we'll have a couple more drops, and then we'll take the big poly home. <laughs> It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show, and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.